Hello, my name is Ryan Leone, and I'm a Senior Civil Infrastructure Technical Specialist here at ATG. Today I'd like to talk about an alternative use for a corridor. As uh, we have here, we have a parking lot which has been graded out, and what we would like to do is we would like to daylight into this existing surface. Now there are many ways to daylight to an existing surface. This is one that uh, is one that I like to use regularly. So what we have here is our assembly called Daylight, and it consists of a link offset and slope, but set to 5 feet at negative 2% away from crown, or in this case our crown is going to be our back of curb. And then from there we have a link slope to surface, and that is set at 20% or 5 to 1 away from crown again, that is the back of curb and we're going to add that link for both cut and fill conditions. So what we're going to do first is start by creating a corridor, and we are going to, instead of using alignment and profile, we'll use feature line. The feature line is on the building site, and for time-saving purposes, I've already named it corridor. We have the assembly that we just saw, which is daylight, and then we have our target surface, which will be your EG. Okay? Now, from here, what we're going to do is accept the defaults, rebuild the corridor. Go ahead and grab the corridor, right click, and go to corridor properties. Here, we'll go ahead and build our corridor surface, and we will use our top links, our daylight fill links, and our daylight cut links as well as our feature lines, uh, P2. Uh, go ahead and add a break line for those as well. And then let's move into the boundaries. Right click on the boundary itself and corridor extends as outer boundary is what we will use. Click OK. As you will see now, we've created this corridor surface here. And what we can tell it's a corridor surface because it has the road on it there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and extend my building site FG, extend the definitions, and here in edits, I'm going to paste surface. So I'm going to find paste surface, and then one I'm going to use uh, is the corridor surface that was recently created. And the end result will bring you to something like this. And that being said, you know, you could utilize many different aspects of the corridor to, to create things such as this. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.